New tonight, the release of a flock of white doves can add a memorable moment to a wedding, funeral, or memorial. That's right, a mid-Michigan family makes it their business to ensure that the visual element is not only effective, but also humane. TV5's April Morton introduces us to the people who make it all happen. You ever wonder where those beautiful doves come from when you're at an event? Well, most of them are coming from this coop right here in Saginaw Township. Nobody wanted to take on the business or even go for it. And I said, oh, I'll try it. And it's been great since. Phyllis Stevens is talking about her uncle's business. He passed away nine years ago and she took it over. This is the young one. But this is no ordinary family business. Stevens and her husband provide white doves for special occasions. Mostly funerals. Memorials are a big thing now because of cremations. We have a lot of memorials. I'll go right to a home. Even if a family gathers and they have the ashes, I'll go right to their home and we celebrate together. Steven says they get about three requests per week, but these are not really doves. They are specially trained pigeons, trained to fly home to Saginaw Township from as far away as Detroit. Doves have a little problem with navigation. When they're just young, we put them in training boxes and uh, uh, we'll let them out of, we'll drop the box and they fly across to their loft and they know where they get fed and where everything, where they were born at. Yeah. And then you take them, I go take them across the yard and then I'll take them maybe a, a down the block and then a, a mile, five miles, 10 miles, 20. Stevens says most times the birds even beat her home. Stevens has a passion for this business and says it's rewarding to provide comfort for a family in grief. The people are so welcoming. I mean, this is such a nice closure for them. In Saginaw Township, April Morton, WNEM TV 5. Now you can learn more about Dreamer's White Dove release in the hot link section of the TV5 homepage.